Hello, Wildcats. I'm Miss Hill, your mindfulness guide. Today, I have a very special guest with me, Miss Alana. Alana, welcome. Alana, what grade are you in this year? Fourth. Fourth grade. And who is your teacher? My teacher is Miss Kinner, but like my like I'm in Miss Kinner's class, but I'm in Mr. Higgins' home. Ooh, you're lucky you get two teachers. That's awesome. We're so glad with, that you're here with us today. So I'd like to invite us all to practice our woodlawn pause together to get centered and present to start our day. This week, we're going to do some gentle movements called bilateral butterflies. Now bilateral movements are coordinated movements that use both sides of the body at the same time. So we'll raise this side. We use our right side and then raise the other side. We use our left side. Very good, both sides. They activate, activate both sides of the brain and the body in a rhythmic motion to promote a relaxation effect in our nervous system and a sense of safety in the body. The movements are similar to butterfly wings. We show the butterfly wings just like this friend because we're gonna be crossing over our arms and moving our hands just like wings. We'll be practicing two different bilateral movements today, and I would like you to notice which one feels the best for you in your body and which one feels the most relaxing. Okay, you ready? We can put our butterfly friend down. For the first one, let's just start by getting into our mindful body. Find a comfortable position, which could be standing or sitting. Your body becomes still and your voice is silent. Let's take a deep breath together in and out. In and out. Good job. Now when you're ready, cross your arms over your chest and gently place your hands on top of your shoulders. Similar to the butterfly wing, just giving a couple gentle taps. And then what we're gonna do is begin to tap each hand one by one and start to rock back and forth like a butterfly flapping its wings. Giving yourself some time, taking some deep breaths in and out. In and out. Just start to notice how that feels. You can even close your eyes if you'd like for a moment, if that feels comfortable. You can even speed it up a little bit. And slow it back down. Good job. Go ahead and release your arms. Next, I'm going to invite you to cross your arms over your lap and gently lay your hands on top of your knees if you can reach forward or your legs, whatever is more comfortable. And just like before, we're going to tap on our legs like butterfly wings as we sway back and forth. Ready? Swaying with your tap, breathing in and breathing out. Getting in that motion, closing your eyes if it feels comfortable. Just really noticing how it feels. Good job. Taking in another deep breath. And sigh it out. Good. You may release your arms. Beautiful job. Alana and Wildcats. How did that feel for you? Good. Excellent. Did you like it best with your arms on your shoulders or down by your knees? Down by my knees. Okay. I find bilateral butterflies to be very soothing and calming. And these movements also give our bodies a safe way to release stuck energy and sync up the left and the right hemispheres of our brain for increased harmony and flexibility. And you can use this when your brain feels super scattered or stressed out. If you have to wait for something for a long time, or if you just have extra energy and you find it hard to sit still when you're doing work, you can just start to gently tap and sway. So enjoy practicing the bilateral butterflies this week. And a big thank you to Alana for joining us today. So if you see me or Alana around the school, let us know what it was like for you. Beautiful job, Wildcats.